Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Walking Through Studio with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. <laughs> so, not too much to like explain and get started because you guys have seen the first one, and if you haven't seen the first one, you should go back, and it shows you like steps one, two, and three that, for the tutorials. Uh, but anywho, the window that um, we use right here. API class reference. If you don't know where it's at, link will be in the description down below. Wiki.roblox.com uh, forward slash index PHP blah 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 blah. Yeah, this was in the first one. Um, I went over here to do the tutorials, and I was going to do four, five, and six tonight. And I clicked on tutorials, and something strange happened. It's different. Oh my goodness. So the Roblox tutorials have all changed and I even tried looking for like the old tutorials and stuff like that. They're gone. So this is going to be a completely new experience for me as well for you as well. It is going to be for you <clears throat> unless you've seen this page yet. And if you haven't seen this page introduction, first look. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Roblox basics, uh, basic modeling, making an office building, intermediate modeling, making an arch, intro to scripting. So there's, okay, and there's like 10 over here, controls and cameras, game pads, mobile controls, creating mobile buttons, user interface, machines and contraptions, m machines versus contraptions. Aha. And then lighting and effects, monetization and marketing. Ooh, we can make monies. And then uh, advanced gameplay, performance and optimizations. And yeah, there are a lot of tutorials. So let's hit up the first one, basic modeling. I think this is, uh, yeah, this is one that I've seen before. So let me go ahead and pull this off the screen. And uh, actually here, we will start by building a single window, insert three uh, new parts into your game part button. Use, okay, wait, start by blah, blah, blah. Insert three new parts, okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Be sure to change the colors of the materials to the parts like scene. So one, two, and three. So let's do that real quick. Uh, fade back on over. And it looks like it's going to be four wide, and I can't tell how many tall. So why not? Let's go uh, da, 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 new part right here. Block. Perfect. I'm going to pull this over here like that. Uh, the top of it. Let's go to models. And just want studs. Boink. Like that. That way I can kind of measure. Um, we're going to do scaling. I'm going to do one stud moves. Oh, that was not on moves, was it? Hmm. Position. All right, let's round this out. I want it to be one, 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 all around. That way, well, no, it went back down to 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is on the, the Y axis, which is the green one. Which, by the way, is kind of weird because um, I think of X, Y, Z, Z being up and down. <clears throat> that's how Blender, that's how I learned in Blender. But if you think about like when you're looking at your math homework or something like that, you've got the X uh, like this, left and right, and you get the Y like this, and then Z would be like into the paper or like into the camera, into the, in, into your desk. So that's a, that's a different um, perspective. So when you're thinking about Roblox, think in that same terms, same term. X is this direction, left and right. Y is up and down, and then Z is like this direction. Okay, that's that's easier way. Hope that explains it a little bit. Let's go to the scaling again, and we're gonna make this one wide, and so many top. Yeah, that looks good. And I'm gonna do a duplicate that. And I'm just gonna go one this direction and then one, two, three, four, like that. And I'm gonna change this color to, it's like a dark tealish color. That one, yeah, sure, why not? This color is supposed to be like a light blue, maybe that one? Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and grab both of those. I'm gonna move them up one stud. Move up one, like that. And then this one right here, I'm just gonna go duplicate and scale, which I normally don't like model like this I usually yeah that'll work that's fine um, <clears throat> are these parts and pieces no they're not sticking for some reason uh, and I bet it's because we don't have inlets at the bottom so let's lift this up real quick let's lift this one up real quick do we have inlets at the bottom of this no we don't that's why okay so surface 
inlets right there and right there and then let's do inlets right there because we're going to need those later i've done this tutorial by the way let's go back to move and we're going to grab both of these holding control i can select both parts move them down oh hold on move them down like that and as you can see the the blue uh sorry the blue indicator is hey there's a connection we're good Oop, like that okay so that should be now be connected if I hit f five they should stick together maybe whoa hello coin by the way that's like the only coin that still exists there yeah it's it's stuck together like legos perfect so let's head back over to the tutorial um windows fade 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 <clears throat> Next, we will make the glass kind of see-through. Go to the properties and find the property transparency. Set it to 0.5. All right, we'll do that. And then we're going to do copies and paste. We're just going to copy and paste it out, 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 out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven across, and then it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven up. So seven and seven. So let's do that real quick. Turn off the Windows Capture. And back over to Studio. All right, so we're going to select this part. We're going to go down to its transparency and do a 0.5. And then um, we're going to grab this, 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 and this. I'm going to hit Control G to make it a grouped part. We're just going to call this uh, where it says Model over here. We're going to switch the name. I pressed F. I selected it and pressed F2 to change the name. And we're going to call this. Building, building, pain, P-A-N-E, like a like a window pane. All right, and uh, what did, what did it call for? Seven. So Control D to duplicate, and we'll move it like that. And if you hold Control, you can grab that first one. Control D, and we're going to duplicate two of them. Two, four, and then just grab all these. Control D. That's eight. That's one too many. So. Because I want to be exactly like the tutorial, I'm going to delete one. I just select and press delete, and it needs to be seven tall. So, one, two, three, four, whoa, 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 there we go, five, six, and seven. Nice. Just like that. And that is one massive piece. Like each one of these panes is connected to the pane down below it. Uh, one way that they're not connected is like this. They're not connected side to side. So that's that is kind of weird. But notice how the pattern all of a sudden starts to repeat. Alright, the next part of the tutorial says to do like a little rotate thingy. So let's go back over here. Fade, fade, fade. <clears throat> It says, select the entire stack of windows, copy and paste it, and then use the rotate tool to go 90 degrees. Move that copy so that it fits next to the other stacks. All right, so let's do that real quick. Uh, window capture fade out. And back over here into studio. We're going to do a, what was that, a box select? You can do box selects of uh, different things. So like if I wanted to... Select parts and pieces. Maybe. Oh, well, that's part of a bigger model. Okay. Like that over there. Can I not select that? What is that? Why is that? Oh, okay. There we go. Boom. That is part of the lab, isn't it? The lab. And then there's the bushes. Okay, cool. So let's grab all of this. <clears throat> We're going to move it over just a little bit. I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate the whole thing. We're going to hit Rotate and go 90 degrees like this. And then I'm just going to move that into place like this. Oh gosh, is that... We are not close. There, now it's attached. And now, boom, like that. Perfect. So there we go. Now it's got the sides. Um, let's go back over to the tutorial. And what does it say to do next, code? Well... Um, <clears throat> there are hotkeys control R and control T or control T and your selection will rotate 90 degrees. Wow. Really? I did not know that. 
Oh, rotate or turn. Rotate, turn. Okay. So, <laughs> um, it says to select both of the stacks, copy and paste, rotate another 90 degrees, uh, and move that copy so that it fits next to the other stacks. And then we're also going to insert a part and scale it over the top for, uh, yeah. That's cool. We can do that. So let's fade this back out. Going back over to the, the, the not tutorial, go to, bleh, there we go. I know what I was talking about. I knew what I was talking about. Control D, I'm gonna go to rotate. And hold on, control R, R. Ha ha, rotated 90 degrees. Or wait, no, 180. That would be 180 degrees that we just rotated, by the way. Okay, so now those are all attached and affixed and awesome. I'm going to select this single piece right here. Control D to duplicate it. I'm going to scale up. Oh, oh goodness. Come here. Come here, you. Scroll one up. And then like that. By the way, this is still a portion of this one building pane. But we're going to make them all members here in just a, a second. Okay, do you see how this is kind of clipping right here? That's not good. I don't. I don't like that. That means this side is clipping as well. All right. Uh, okay. I'm gonna control Z this. Control Z Z Z Z Z Z. There we go. Control R to rotate one more time. I'm gonna move it that direction one stud, and that will fix it on both sides. So now this is even, and this side is even. Okay, okay, cool. I don't like how you can see the lines right there. That's no good. Can we do surface smooth, no outline? Yeah, nice. That kind of worked, kind of. Okay, and I would have to do that on all, all of them. I don't want to do that right now. So, it's a lot of work. Um, let's go ahead and go back to the move. Alt, grab one. Just one of them. And we're going to do Control D to duplicate. It's going to move up one stud. Turn the scaling on and like this. Like that. And like that. And since this is joining on the bottom, it should hold everything in place. So that building should be stable. Should. Doesn't mean it is. Just should be. Uh, and I'm gonna go off the tutorial a little bit and go out one more, just cause I like overhangs on my buildings. Like that. Boop. And even though it's not much difference, it, it's still hugely different from the actual tutorial itself. So. Let's go back over to this and fade. <clears throat> All right, it says to cover the top of the building, and that's it. So we're we're done with that. Well, that was simple. Okay, I guess that's just a building tutorial. Um, to help out and to change something here, let's go ahead and fade. Um, I'm going to create a door, or that door that we had earlier. Should I stick that door in there? Yeah, no, it's not good. All right, let's do this one right here and this brick right here. Hold on, Alt, there we go. Delete, there we are. I'm gonna grab this one, we're going to scale down one, like that, good. And I also want a floor for my building, so, uh, hold on, can I grab this whole thing? Nice, uh-oh. I'll grab something else. What did I grab? What is this? No, don't grab that. Okay. Hold on. Let's grab that. There we go. And we're going to move the whole thing up one. So like this. And then I'm going to take this one piece, duplicate, scale. We're going to move this down and down one more. And that's going to become the floor. So. The same thing that we did for the roof, only on the opposite end. Roofs and floors. Just like that. Just like that. 
And what we could do is go in between each one of these floors here and make that floor independent. independent. So basically like each one of these would be its own floor. Control D, move, move it up like that. Control D, move up like that. So then you could have like a um, department store or something like that. Oh gosh, what happened there? I hit the wrong button. No! Please don't start a second one. It's going to start a second one, isn't it? Oh gosh. All right, hold on. Hold on. Is it starting? It's it's loading right now. Oh man. That's not what I wanted. Okay, maybe maybe it's not. All right, let, let's see. Can we hit F5? Nope, it started. There it is. Oh, nope, the camera didn't switch. Okay, close that. Close, close, close. All right, back over here. F5 to start the game. And then we should be able to see the building. Whoa, right there. Whoa, hello, coin. And just to get a, a feel for how tall these, or how short these buildings are. That's a, that's about to scale. That's almost that's perfect, actually, and can't get any better than that. That's awesome. So, <clears throat> I would show you how to do like stairs and stuff like that, but I really want to stick to the tutorials themselves. So let's hit stop. We're gonna take this whole thing, select it right here. Whoop, oh gosh, come here. Select this whole thing, and we're going to hit Control G. We're gonna group that up into one model. And then I'm going to call that model uh, building, building, or no, office building, office building with no space. <clears throat> if you add spaces, it makes it kind of harder later on to like find the things that you're looking for inside the game. Not that much harder, but just enough to, to give you some difficulties every once in a while. Just pay attention to the naming schemes and you should be fine. All right, office building is done. Yay. And let's switch back over and go to the next tutorial. Do we have time? Mm, nope. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna leave it at that for this tutorial of uh, um, walkthrough studio. <laughs> there, it, like I said, there are new um, tutorials there on the page. They're the same tutorials as before, but they're in a new arranged format, so be sure to check them out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the video. It's really up to you. If you want to subscribe, that's awesome. If you don't want to subscribe, that is completely your choice. I love you guys either way. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you soon. Outro, 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 outro. Thank you.